Hey, today I have a product review and installation of the ELM327. This is the Wi-Fi OBD2 portal dongle that you connect into your data connection port. This is the company that I got it from. I'll have the link in the description, so go check that out. So here's a quick video of how to go ahead and install this in your vehicle and how to set it up on your phone as well. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to have to connect this into your data connection link port. Usually it's located somewhere underneath the dash somewhere. On my particular vehicle on this Honda Accord, it's this white little piece that's right here sticking out right there. So go ahead and connect this into the port like mm -hmm. so. That's on, it tells you that this is on. Let's go to your it. phone and go to your Wi-Fi setting. And then look for this Wi-Fi OBD2 right here. So select that one and then click connect. And it's right now connecting. Now it's connected. Now go to your app. which is right here. This is the app that I'm using, the Torque Pro app. The device itself does come with the free version, free app. You can use the free one, but I decided to use this one particular itself. That, this app costs about five bucks on the App Store. So go check it out. It's called Torque Pro. Now, before you start using this device, you have to set this up as well. So click on the setting. And then in the middle, click on setting up here on the top. And then go to your right here OBD2 adapter setting. And connection type. You have to change this connection type to a Wi-Fi. So right now you have three choices. This is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and USB. So make sure your Wi-Fi is selected. And then also right here where it says faster communication, make sure that checkbox is on. And if you want to calculate a few MPG, then make sure this is not checked, but I don't need that since my vehicle does come with the MPG calculator and everything. So I checked that box so that other data will be calculated faster. So once that is done, I'm just gonna click on back, back again, back again, and we're here. Now this has a couple different Options that you can see right there, it has a real-time information, so that'll give you the sensor readings on real-time. The fault code is for if you have a check engine light, if you click on that, it'll scan your computer and then see if you have any um, check and uh, fault codes. And if it does, it'll tell you what the code number is, and it'll give you a brief description of what the code is, and also um, possible remedies to fix that. Um, the map view right here is if you want to route your, your trip, and it'll also tell you, you know, how fast you're driving, how f um, the most MPG that you got, things like that. So you can click on and that and different that. testing, different graph settings that you can do in adapter settings, and you can get plugins, widgets, and things so so forth. And so once you have that connected and you have it to Wi-Fi, go ahead and start your vehicle. Okay. Okay. So. Since my car doesn't have a fault code right now, check engine light, I'm gonna click on the first one, real time information. And this will give you a um, couple different you can gauges. Go ahead by and default. customize these if you wanted to. Just click on that down here and customize the gauges that you wanna see. But by default, this gives you these ones right here Excel, Rev, Speed, Throttle. This is the vacuum, Boost and also the coolant temperature. And so as you can see, this is gonna be live data. I'm gonna press on the accelerator right now. And then you see that's going up on the RPM. And then you can click on the next one. There's a bigger picture. And again, you can click on it to customize whichever gauges that you wanna show up here. And then this also has, you know, quarter time, an eighth mile, 060 that you can set. So if you were at a track and you want to see your time, you can use this as well. And this has, for the codes, it'll tell you 
Okay, so that was it. This was a quick video on how to set up your Wi-Fi dongle to your smartphone so that it connects it to your computer so you can go ahead and read either the check engine light or different sensor, live data of different sensors. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.